Hello, friends, and thank you as always for visiting the Legend Sports Universe YouTube channel, Legend Sports Universe, where legends play forever. This is a preseason tournament game in NFC semifinal matchup in the preseason tournament between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers coming to you from Levi's Stadium in San Francisco. The Eagles coming in off a last second kick return victory. Timmy Brown running them to the upset over the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas. To get here for a last second win, the 49ers were challenged themselves in an overtime field goal fest, holding off the Minnesota Vikings 12-9 in Minnesota. The 49ers, I believe, will be the class of the NFC based on their opening draw. They've got the best group of 50 from their pool of 130 players for the Franchise Stars Football League. Very balanced across all lines. I expect the 49ers to lead the pace, but the Eagles are going to be tough in their own right. We should have a good matchup here. Bruce Gossel will come on to kick for the 49ers. Eagles are received to open things up. Again, I just have to handle the opening kickoff here to get... Actually, I have to handle the first play from scrimmage, too, so that the custom playbook set. Well, I actually really didn't have to do that for this game because both of these teams drew their... their current real-life coaches in the coaching pool. Um, so I actually could have just probably let this one play without this. But if you create custom playbooks for Madden, you have to run a play from scrimmage um, to get the custom playbooks to set. Otherwise, they go and they reset to default. There's Jalen Hurts. Hurts will take the run there. Oh, boy, and Jalen Hurts goes down. Oh, man, the Eagles could have an issue here right off the bat. Jalen Hurts, first carry of the game. Goes down a bit awkwardly. He's reaching down for that ankle. And Carson Wentz is going to be forced into action one play into this one for the Eagles. Hurts goes to the bench. They're not taking him to the tunnel. But the Eagles are going to try to get Jalen Hurts back on the field as quickly as possible. But Carson Wentz is going to be pressed into action here. Hurts already walking around on the sideline, so we'll see. Hopefully Hurts won't be out of this game for too long if you're an Eagles fan. Wentz in the shotgun. In the pocket, looks, rolls to the left, throws, and it's intercepted! Intercepted right off the bat! Eric Wright with the pick for the 49ers, and the 49ers secondary is terrific. We've talked about that previously, and Carson Wentz on the first pass of the game, he comes in for an injured Jalen Hurts and immediately is picked off by Eric Wright, and the 49ers are in business early. So here comes John Brody to lead the 49ers. The 49ers, again, a terrific draw. Brody has all sorts of weapons. Jerry Rice with the 49ers for year one of the Franchise Stars Football League. Gene Washington, an exceptional speedy secondary receiver. They've got Debo Samuel as well. White Clark, they've got a solid, if unspectacular, offensive line. They've got Brent Jones and Vernon Davis as their tight ends. And a nice running back rotation, Frank Gore, Ricky Waters, and Charlie Garner. So the 49ers can hurt you in a lot of ways. We'll see how they decide to attack the Eagles here. Swung wide to Frank Gore in the flat, down inside the 30. It's a pickup of six. Down to the 27, as the 49ers will try to make the Eagles pay for the early turnover. Brody in the shotgun. One setback, Brody. Pass over the middle, complete. Gene Washington makes the grab. 14-yard pickup down to the 13. And this game has started off about as perfectly as you could have drawn it up if you were a 49ers fan. We'll still wait to get an injury update on Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. One snap in. Brody drops back, looking end zone out of the back of the end zone incomplete. Was looking for Dwight Clark, but the Eagles had good coverage there. Brody airmails that one, and will live to fight another day. 
second and 10 from the Eagles 13. Brody in the shotgun again. Al Shanahan will have him in that a lot. Pass to the right. He underthrows him. Couldn't quite tell if that was Dwight Clark or Brent Jones he was looking for there. But regardless, the only thing it hit was the grass, and it's third and ten. Byron Evans trying to get the Eagles defense to clamp down here. Limit the Niners to a field goal, minimize the damage from the interception. Over the middle, incomplete. That's two straight passes underthrown from John Brody. Surprised you didn't see a run mixed in there. Hello again with current coaches like Shanahan and Sirianni. You kind of expect the passing will kind of rule the day. Here's the field goal attempt from Gossett, and it is good. 37-yard kick, and the 49ers capitalize on the Carson Wentz interception to take a 3-0 lead. Reggie White over there helping Carson Wentz on the sideline. Don't you just see a defensive lineman being the, the catcher for the quarterback there? But Reggie White happy to chip in. He's not going to big time anybody. We appreciate that. little humility. Reggie White leads this Eagles defense. They are solid. If you're an 80s Eagles fan, 80s, early 90s Eagles fan, the Eagles defense is loaded with those guys. Wes Hopkins, Seth Joyner, Andre Waters, Byron Evans. They got Reggie White and Jerome Brown on the defensive line. For now, the Eagles will try to get to work on offense. Kick goes into the end zone, taken out across the 20. Not too much doing there. So now we'll see, is Hertz back at the helm? Or is this just a bad EA animation? Let's find out together. They may very well show the Hertz animation and then have Carson Wentz still be the quarterback. Nope, Hertz is back in the game. So they taped up Hertz's ankle. He's back in. I'm sure the interception thrown by Carson Wentz in his stead made Hertz want to get out there quickly. He tries to run it again. Same play he got hurt on, actually. It's brought down by Merton Hanks. No pickup. It'll be second and 10 from the 21. So again, very quickly, if you are new to following the Franchise Stars Football League, first and most importantly, thank you for checking in. Hopefully I can get you to like and subscribe if you like what you see here. Pass over the middle is complete. Little three-yard pass. Jeremy Macklin with the catch. Nunley with the tackle for the Niners. His second tackle. Each franchise has a pool of 130 of the top players in their history spread out across all positions. A random generator selected 50 players to be with each franchise for year one. The remaining 80 players will all enter each franchise through the rookie draft in subsequent years as Hertz finds Pete Retzlop is tight end there for a 12-yard pickup and a first down to move the chains. So, for example, if you're the 49ers, you've got to find draw a quarterback in John Brody. But, of course, Joe Montana and Steve Young are probably the guys who would want there. They are in that 130-player pool, of course. They will enter the 49ers in subsequent drafts. So this is going to go on for many seasons. I want this to be a full-fledged career franchise mode. So you're going to see all the players from that 130-player pool for each franchise come in over time. Each player will be assigned to their main team for the number of years that they were with the team in real life. And then once that expires, they will be free agents. So you'll see some movement. You'll see some trades. You know, free agency will be a factor. This is all going to play out as a legitimate franchise mode over the long haul. Handoff there, LaShawn McCoy, not much doing there. Charles Haley blows that play up. And it'll be second and 15 for the Eagles. And this is built in the same mode as my Franchise Stars Baseball League. Year three of that project will be opening up in the next couple weeks right along the time the regular season for the Franchise Stars Football League starts. This is just a preseason pre tournament test 
kind of thing as Mike Quick pulls it in along the sideline. That is a perfect pass from Jalen Hurts. Dropped right in there. Coverage was solid, but Quick along the sideline pulls it in. Tim McDonald pops him, but not before. Quick reels it in for the completion, and the Eagles are moving. 36-yard strike from Hurts to Mike Quick. Down on the Niners, 33. Hurts in the shotgun. Pressure coming from the outside. Hurts gets rid of it, and it's intercepted. Second interception for the 49ers. This time, it's Patrick Willis. And the Eagles cannot afford this. You can't be making two turnovers in the opening quarter against a team as good as the Niners. Aaron pass there, and Patrick Willis, a fine and, in my opinion, very underrated linebacker for the Niners, picks that one off. And the Niners bring a halt to the Eagles' drive. So the Eagles have thrown two picks in the first five minutes of this game. 49ers cash the first one in for three points. They'll try to turn this one into seven. Brody in the shotgun with a lone setback. Short pass there. Complete White Clark out across the 35. Short pickup, five yards out to the 36. That's Clark's first perception. Byron Evans picks up the tackle for the Eagles. And Kyle Shanahan operating his 49ers offense out of the shotgun a lot. Here's Ricky Waters. Waters goes to the outside. He picks up three. Again, the Niners have a pretty balanced three-back rotation you're going to see out of them. Frank Gore will get the bulk of the carries, but you'll see Waters and Charlie Garner check in for some carries as well. A lot of teams have one very clear lead back who's going to be a kind of a 20 carry back. The Niners may change that up. Pressure there, and in comes Reggie White to bring down John Brody for the sack on third down, and the Niners will be forced to punt. Reggie White tracks down Brody. Brody spins away from him, but he was not going to outrun Reggie there. Reggie had full momentum and a clear run. So the interception by Willis doesn't lead to anything. Niners go three and out, disappointingly for them. Now, here comes the punt. Fair catch is called. And the Eagles will start from their 24. So two possessions, two interceptions for the Eagles. This might be the first multi-interception game um, for one team that we've seen in this preseason tournament, actually. The Eagles have done it in the first quarter. Three down linemen for the Niners. Hurts in the shotgun. Hurts swings it. Pete Retzloff, short catch there. Quick tight end out route, picks up three. Second and seven. For the Eagles. Down to eight minutes left here in the opening quarter of what should be a good one. There's movement there. We'll see who moved. I think it was the Eagles, and it was. Ball start call there on Johnson. They'll move it back five yards to the 22. It'll be second and 12. Hertz in the pocket, swings it to the right-hand side, incomplete. He was looking for Retzloff again, but that time he missed him. Dwight Hicks in the coverage there. Hicks actually looked like he had dropped a little bit off of Retzloff there, but Hertz couldn't make the connection. Third and 12 coming up for the Eagles. Both teams wearing their 1980s uniforms. And I will usually go old school uniforms in these streams when I can. Hurts steps up, throws to the left hand side, it's complete. Mike Quick along the sideline. Hurts looked like he was going to take off there, 
but saw that Quick had gotten free and hits him all on the sideline. Second big reception from Mike Quick. And the Eagles out to the 48-yard line. Get into San Francisco territory. Eric Wright, who had the interception earlier, on the tackle there. Bunched up set for the Eagles. Hertz, Hertz tries to roll outside. He can't escape Charles Haley, though. There's the sack from Haley, the first one for the Niners. It's a seven-yard loss, and that'll bring up second and 17. Both of these teams can get to the quarterback. Dominant pass rushers in Charles Haley and Reggie White. Hurts over the middle, complete. That's a shorty to Mike Quick. Not too much doing there. It'll be third and 11. Patrick Willis with the tackle for the Niners. Jalen Hurts, again, looks right-hand side. Tipped away. Nicely defended. Carlton Williamson gets up. Hertz was looking for quick again, but Williamson deflects it away, and it'll be fourth down, and the punting unit will come on for the Philadelphia Eagles. So what looked like a promising drive fizzles out in midfield. From the logo, Eagles will punt. Angle to the sideline, and it's going to be fielded and tried to run back. Herman Alexander out across the 25 to the 26, and that's where the Niners will take over. 5.43 left in the opening frame, 3 0 49ers. Winner of this will take on the winner of the other semifinal match, a division matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. On the AFC side, the Kansas City Chiefs advanced with a dominant victory over the Raiders. They will await the winner of the Chargers and Patriots matchup for the AFC Championship game. Pass over the middle. Brody finds Brent Jones. That'll be a pickup of nine. Out to the 35. First reception for the Niners tight end. Bring us down inside the five-minute mark, close to the five-minute mark, here in quarter number one. Again, with both of these teams drawing their modern coaches, their current coaches, so they're using their current playbooks. Obviously, a lot more shotgun there than you're going to see from teams who drew the older coaches who are doing custom playbooks. Pass there for Garner out of the backfield, out to the 47. It's a first down as the chains move. This Niners team just is really balanced along all aspects. The offensive line is probably their weakest unit, but it's not bad by any means. Pass. Incomplete there. Looked like he had it. Ball popped out. That almost looked like a fumble to me, but they called it incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Have not seen Brody call Jerry Rice's number as of yet. Oh, and a little bit of a play action. Brody keeps it. You're not going to see that too much, but Brody does pick up a couple there. It'll be third and seven from midfield. Brody trying to play a little bit of Jalen Hurts' game. John Brody is not Jalen Hurts when it comes to mobility. But Shanahan trying to get a little tricky around midfield. Third and seven. Brody, where he's more comfortable in the pocket, throws a cross complete to Gene Washington. That'll be a first down. Down inside the Eagles, 40. Down in the 38. Sticks will move for the Niners. If Sirianni not happy. That, that conversion was given up. Things changing here for the Niners. Brody changing the look. Three wide up top. Brody stands in the pocket, swings it to his safety valve out of the backfield. 
Charlie Garner, his first reception of the game, picks up two there. Herm Edwards steps up for the tackle. It'll be second and eight from the 35. Down inside the three-minute mark of this opening stanza. Hand off. Out to the outside there. Frank Gore rushes for the first down. He gets some good blocking out ahead of him. Down inside the 30 to the 26. And the Niners will move the chains again. Niners running outside. They're not running up the middle very much. To this point on this Eagles defensive line. Jerome Brown, Reggie White, and company. A formidable force there. Tries to go off tackle to the outside. Garner is brought down. Good tackle there. Mike Mamula wrestles him to the ground. It's second and 11. Loss of one. Three nothing Niners. They're driving again. Quick out to the right hand side. There's Brent Jones. Short pass. Third and six coming up from the 22. Second catch for Jones. Brody now seven of 11. They haven't tried to go down the field as of yet. Trips down low. Four wide total. Brody. Looks to the left side, tipped away. Looking for Gene Washington, but Bradley is able to knock it away. It'll be fourth and six, and we'll see the field goal unit come on again for San Francisco. Chris Gossett will come on for the kick. 39-yard attempt. Gossett hit his first from 37. Puts this one up. And good, and the Niners take a 6-0 lead. So the Eagles in this first quarter have turned the ball over twice. But they have held the 49ers to just a pair of field goals. San Francisco has to feel like they could be up dominantly in this game. And yet, it's still a one-score game. Things need to change, though, for the Eagles. So we'll see the kickoff here. 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Kickoff well into the end zone. That'll be down. No reason to try to run it out from there. And Jalen Hurts and company will get back to work for Philadelphia. They've been passing a lot. You know, I kind of like the Eagles running backs. They've got LaShawn McCoy as their main back. Wilbur Montgomery is there also. Tom Sullivan was a decent back. He's in the backfield for them as well. But you figure McCoy and Wilbur Montgomery, between the two of them, could do some damage. But again, in a Nick Sirianni offense, they're going to pass it plenty. Swung out wide, though. Hurts. Hits McCoy out of the backfield. Pickup of seven. That's the first reception for McCoy. Out to the 32. Second and three coming up for the Eagles. Probably the last play of the quarter coming here. Hand off McCoy. Has a first down and more. Out across the 40. Tim McDonald comes up as the second man to hit him. Brings him down, but McCoy moves the chains. The Eagles will have a first down from the 41 as the gun sounds to end the first. So the Niners have been gifted a pair of turnovers, interceptions by Eric Wright and Patrick Willis. But the Eagles only trail 6-0. The defense has bent but not broken to keep this a one-score game. Here's McCoy to the outside again. McCoy jukes to the outside. Nice move by LaShawn McCoy to find the marker and get the first down. Only his third carry of the game down to San Francisco territory to the 46. Eric Wright stretching out his shoulder there, but it looks like he's going to wave off the training staff and stay in. First and 10. Hard count there from Hertz. Nobody jumps. Takes the snap. Pass to the left side. Complete. I believe that's Jeremy Macklin. 
with the reception down to the 28-yard line. Second catch for Macklin. Finds the seam there. Hurts hits him quickly. Hurts calls out the sign. He's got a lone set back again. In the pocket. Good protection. It's Macklin again down inside the 20. He'll be brought down at the 14. Chains will move. It's first and 10 for the Eagles. Burton Hanks in on the tackle. So a nice drive here by the Eagles. From the 14. Hurts steps up. But then throws. Complete. Mike Quick down inside the 10. Hurts 10 of 13 so far. Very economical. Short passes. A few passes out of the backfield. few passes to the tight end. A couple short passes over the middle. Though he has had two longer completions to Quick down each sideline. Second and three here from the seventh. Hand off. Fighting through traffic. LaShawn McCoy close to the marker. But they'll say he's short. And the stumble field brings him down up the middle. It'll be third and inches for the Eagles. Potential big play here. And there's a false start, and the Eagles can't take that. Shooting themselves in the foot. From third and inches. Now to third and five, pushed back to the nine. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible penalty to take. Hurts, end zone, and the penalty won't matter. Oh, no, it's incomplete. Looked like he had it, but White Hicks with the hit on Aguilar. He can't hold on. It'll be fourth and five from the nine. And we'll expect that Sam Baker is the kicker, full-time kicker for the Eagles. Baker will come on for the 26-yard attempt to get the Eagles on the board. Kick is up. And good. So Baker puts it through. The Eagles get three, but they've got to be frustrated. Third and inches inside the five. they only come out of there with three points after the penalty. So two interceptions and a couple of bad penalties. That one the most costly of all. Baker at least able to get it through to get the Eagles on the board. Both 11-40 left here in quarter number two. It's been a field goal duel again. 6-3, 49ers. Kickoff taken in the end zone. Kermit Alexander across the 20, across the 25. He's brought down hard. Looks like Wes Hopkins bringing him down. Niners will start from their 28. We'll see what Brody and company have in store here. Again, he has not, it doesn't even seem like he's looked to Jerry Rice as of yet. Nice coverage on him so far by the Eagles, which surely are focusing on Rice. Hand off there. Frank Gore picks up three, brought down by Bradley. It'll be second and seven. If, if you key too much on Jerry Rice, though, the Niners have other weapons who can burn you. Gene Washington is a very, very good receiver. Speedy receiver, deep threat. Here's a deep ball down the left-hand side, incomplete. That's the first time the Niners have tried to go deeper down the field. No connection, though. It's third and seven. Bradley in coverage on Rice right now. Brody in the pocket. Looks deep down the left-hand side again, but again misses the target. 
So the Niners try to stretch it out, but unsuccessfully, and they'll go three and out. Fourth and seven coming up. Six carries, 14 passes. To this point for Kyle Shanahan's offense. Punt taken, fumble! Who recovered? Fumble was forced and the Niners recover. Oh my goodness. Well, now we're going to see a review. See if he hit the ground first. Let's take a look here. Timmy Brown, and he looks like he was pretty clearly down from that other angle. There's the knee. Well, the ball may have been loose. I think they're going to say he was down, though. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. And they're going to say that Timmy Brown was down. So the Eagles catch a break, avoiding their third turnover of the first half. And they will start from the 31. Pressure on Hurts. Down he goes. Dana Stubblefield gets through for the sack. An 11-yard loss. Hurts is brought down back at the 20. Stubblefield gets a pretty free run at Hurts. There was nothing that Jalen Hurts could do there. So second and 21 for the Eagles. Hurts letting his line hear it a bit. Here in the shotgun. Hurts fires over the middle incomplete. Looked like he was looking for Aguilar there, but that one is a throwing mistake by Hurts. He overthrew him. It'll be third and 21. And even 10 minutes left here in the first half. Hurts in the shotgun. Steps up. Surprised that Hurts didn't run there. So Jalen Hurts, of all people, looked like he had yardage. Didn't think he could get to the first down marker, so he was hoping that something was going to open up for the pass, but instead he's brought down. Kermit Alexander steps up and brings him to the ground, and the Eagles will have to punt. Understand a bit Hurts holding up there. Given that it was a third and long, he didn't feel like he could get to the first down. But him running and coming up short would have been a better option to take there than taking the sack. Hunt is taken, and now the 49ers will have field position at the 47. Martin, Staley, Wallace... A solid, again, not a spectacular offensive line, a la the Raiders, but a solid offensive line for sure. Brody rolls to the right. Complete to Garner in the flat, but not too much doing there. That's a pickup of a couple down in the 45. I'm sorry, I thought that was, I don't know why I thought that was Garner from the angle I saw at the, the number. Not even close. Vernon Davis. Tight end on the little out route there. Nice tandem of tight ends to have in Brent Jones and Vernon Davis. Second and eight from the 45. Up the middle. Gore doesn't have too much there. Reggie White on the tackle. It'll be third and seven. Defense is dictating the pace at this point. Brody in the shotgun. Niners have trips up top. Brody in the pocket. Looks. Looks great job by the line. Brody steps up. He's going to take off for the marker. And he gets there. Nicely done by John Brody. Terrific coverage by the Eagles secondary, but a great job by the Niners offensive line. Brody steps up, hesitates, and then goes. Gets the first down to move the chains down to the 34. Brody's in the shotgun again. Long to the right. Complete. Lots of traffic, but he finds Brent Jones. 
Down to the 22, it's first and 10. Chains move again. Third catch for Jones. He's got 27 yards receiving to this point. We're down inside seven minutes left here in this first half. Brody. Pass there. Complete White Clark. Pickup of six down in the 15. Second and four. Jerome Brown and Dwight Clark having some words. Lloyd with the tackle for Philadelphia. Kyle Shanahan has had Brody operating almost exclusively in the shotgun. Pass there. Gore in the flat. Makes the grab down inside the 10. There's a little further downfield than the flat, but... Still, completion to Frank Gore. It'll be first and goal from the two. Seth Joyner with the tackle. But the 49ers are pounding on the doorstep. Now they tighten things up. Gore, excuse me, Brody will go under center. Swung to the left. Complete. But a quick tackle there. Good job by Kendricks. Eric Johnson with the reception. Trying to get the third tight end into the play. Nothing doing there, so a completion that goes nowhere. I formation, Tom Rathman in at the fullback. Ricky Waters, the halfback for this one. We'll see what the Niners do here. It's Waters, up the middle. Fights his way in for the touchdown. Ricky Waters scores for the Niners. We have our first touchdown of the game, and the 49ers will extend their lead to 13-3. Ending the extra point. And the extra point, no longer a gimme, but pretty much a gimme, I would think. Gossett will try to put it through the uprights and not make a liar out of me, and it's good. Eight play is 46 yards, 346 for the Niners there. Now they lead by 10. Give themselves a little bit of breathing room. 436 left in the half. Plenty of time, of course, for the Eagles to try to get the ball down the field. Both teams have all three timeouts. Timmy Brown back to receive. You watch the Eagles opening round game against the Cowboys. You know what Timmy Brown can do. Game winning kickoff return on the final play of the game is how the Eagles got here. Eagles to start from the 23 in this one. Jalen Hurts will go back to work. Again, Hurts was hurt on the first play of the game. Carson Wentz came in, promptly threw an interception. Jalen Hurts came back in the next time the Eagles got the ball, after the Niners got a field goal. And then Hurts promptly threw an interception as well. Other than that, though, Hurts has been solid. Good protection, good coverage. Swings it to the right for Retzloff. It's incomplete. And the Niners secondary. A terrific draw in their initial 50-man draw from the 130-player master pool. They've got Eric Wright, White Hicks, Merton Hanks. Tim McDonald is back there as well. Herman Alexander. A fine, fine secondary for the Niners. Hurts is passed way off the mark. It's incomplete. It'll be third and ten. From the 23, Hurts in the shotgun. Eagles do not have the Niners' core of wide receivers. Hurts. Airing it out. Deep down the right-hand side. Incomplete. Broken up. White Hicks. Right there with Aguilar. Hurts tried to drop that one in. Hicks was having none of it. And the Eagles will go three and out. Here's the punt from Tommy Hutton. Taken back at the 21, short return. Good coverage on that one. Niners will start from their 35. Yeah. 
I think I may have said it was taken at the 21. It was the 31. Apologies there. 4-11 left here in the first half. 13-3 San Francisco in this Franchise Stars Football League preseason tournament. NFC semifinal matchup. The goal is for the league itself to officially start right in the run-up to the Super Bowl. I'd originally set the end of January, but that's a little bit ambitious. Still going to have some testing to do once the last players are entered. Once I get into franchise mode, make sure nothing goes a little bit wonky once I'm actually in the franchise mode. And still have to create all the coaching profiles and stuff like that. And still have a bunch more playbooks to make for each of the franchises as well. So once I start the league, and Frank Gore, we'll get back to that in a minute. Gore pops one and breaks a run down inside the Eagles 40. Gore's fourth run, the first one of significance, down in the Eagles 37 before Byron Evans can get in there on the tackle and track him down. Nice run by Frank Gore. Um, the first week of the season may drag out a little bit. Um, I may kind of start the season and make a couple of playbooks for teams as I go in that opening week, and then the pace will pick up after that. And off, cutting back. Nice job, Charlie Garner. Not much there. Makes something out of nothing. Picks up five down in the 32. Obviously, playbooks for all this, these 16 teams have been made already. Again, I'm creating custom playbooks for any franchise that did not draw a current coach as their coach for year one of the FSFL. Customizing playbooks there is Jerry Rice enters the chat. His first reception of the game, just a four-yard pickup, but you had to get Jerry Rice involved here somehow. Eagles have been doubling Rice for much of this game. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. So the Niners lead 13-3. They're threatening here late in the half. Um, but I still have to create the playbooks and decide which, and do the random generator to decide which coaches are coaching those other 16 teams. But in theory, once the rosters are done, I can get it set up in franchise, in franchise mode while I'm creating those playbooks. The goal will probably be to do two or three live broadcasts from each schedule week. We kind of get through the season, so hopefully we'll be able to do one or two game weeks per real life week and get through the season in a decent chunk of time. Hand off there, Ricky Waters gets the first down, down to the 25. I also think the goal is going to be over the first 10 weeks of the regular season, I'm going to want to broadcast every team in the league at least once. And then after that point, starting in week 11, we'll just do the best two or three games on the schedule each week. Brody in the pocket, over the middle, complete. Reeled in by Dwight Clark. It's going to be first and goal from the nine. Clock continues to run. Third reception for Dwight Clark. Neither team stopping the clock. Asante Samuel. Samuel's largely been charged with locking down Jerry Rice, and he's largely done that to this point. Rice just getting his first reception. But the Niners don't care as long as they can keep the lead here. There's Rice again down inside the five. Niners will burn their first time out as Rice is brought down inbounds at the four. And the Eagles defense has to try to lock down here. You do not want to go to the half down 20 to three. That would feel like a big difference between 13 or even 16-3 and 20-3. Brody getting protection. Throws it out of the back of the end zone. Good coverage there across the board. Looked like he was looking for Rice on that one, but Samuel was with him. The field, of course, getting short. Not as much room for the receivers to work. Down here deep in territory. Third and goal from the four. 42 seconds left in the half. Brody. Short drop. Now trying to roll and instead he's brought down. Big sack there. Corey Simon breaks through. Lance Brody 
and it's going to be fourth and goal. So the Eagles needed a big defensive play, and they got one. Corey Simon gets to Brody. You have to question Kyle Shanahan's coaching there. you got to try, at some point, try to run a ball in there, I think. So now Gossett will come on for the 30-yard field goal. He puts it through the uprights. The Niners will certainly take the three. But they have to feel like they left points on the board. 16-3, San Francisco, 35 seconds left in the half. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. See how the Eagles try to play this offensively once they have the ball back. Are they just going to kind of go conservative and let the half run out? Or try to get down the field? big part of that might be what Timmy Brown does here on the return. Out across the 20, he's brought down there. So 31 ticks on the clock here in the half. Eagles will start from their 21. They do have two timeouts. Remember, San Francisco has two timeouts also, so the Eagles can't just go to burn things out. But the Niners could stop the clock and try to get themselves the ball back. Hertz is in the shotgun, so we'll see how they play it. They are going to throw. Hertz, nope, Hertz takes off. Jalen Hurts out across the 30, goes to slide, and he's popped. And Hurts isn't happy about it. But he wasn't down as of yet. That's a legitimate hit. They call a timeout. They get to the 34. Hurts in the shotgun again. Hertz dumps it off. McCoy out across the 40 to the 45. They'll take another timeout to stop the clock. 19 seconds left on the clock. Problem here for the Eagles is that Sam Baker does not have a great leg. So you've got to get the ball pretty well down the field. You know, 20 yards would make it a 52-yard field goal attempt. That is probably outside of Sam Baker's range going to want to try to get it down inside the 30. That's 25 yards of real estate with not much time left. Hertz throws this one away. Fourteen seconds left on the clock. Again, this Niners secondary is terrific. Hertz has tested them deep a couple of times. So far, nothing has clicked. Airs this one out down the right-hand side. Incomplete. He's trying to get Aguilar free down the sideline, but White Hicks is not yielding any ground. Third and ten. Nine seconds left. And there's a flag. Ball start on the Eagles. Nick Sirianni. Visibly frustrated on the Philadelphia sideline. Third and 15. Hertz drops back. Pass complete. He's got Aguilar down inside the 35, but there's not going to be enough time. 24-yard pickup, but he's not near the sideline, and because he had to go down to make the grab, couldn't get to the sideline to stop the clock. So that'll get us to the half. 16-3, 49ers. A fine showing so far by San Francisco, but the Eagles have to feel like they have certainly not played their best football to this point, and they are still very much in this game. And two first quarter interceptions. They held the Niners to field goals on the drives there in the first. They just held them again 
the Niners kind of have to be kicking themselves a little bit because they could really be up very comfortably in this game. And instead, it's still a two-score game as we prepare to start the second half. Niners will receive them. Herman Alexander, the deep man for the Niners. Tommy Hutton handles kickoff duties for the Eagles. Taken at the two. Alexander across the 20, out across the 25. To the 26, and that is where the 49ers will start the second half. John Brody trying to get the troops in order. Frank Gore is the lone setback. Brody over the middle. Complete. Brent Jones has the first down. Brody now 17 of 26 for 131. That is an economical attack. But especially now, up by 13. There's really no reason to take too many chances. Just continue to play your offense the way you have been. Control the clock. Over the middle. Complete. Down inside the 40. There's Gene Washington. So the Niners start off the second half with a pair of completions. Fourth catch of the game for Washington. Reggie White tries vainly to bat that ball down. But it gets through. Washington with the reception. With Michael with the tackle. Shotgun with split backs. Brody. Looks complete. There's Jones again. Down inside the 30. So the Niners have come out firing here to start up the second half. That's five catches for Jones. Down to the 26. And the Eagles defense. Tighten it up as the, they approach the red zone again. Short pass there. White Clark. Pickup of seven down to the 19. 20 of 29 for John Brody. Santa Samuel with the tackle. Pitch wide. Four. Doesn't get much, but he does find the marker. Frank Gore made a real-life career of finding the marker. Just a good, solid, adorable bat. Who's a lot higher on the all-time rushing list than you would probably assume that he is. He's in the top five, if I remember right. First and ten from the 15. Brody looking for the end zone incomplete. Byron Evans in coverage there. It'll be second and ten. And the Eagles hold the Niners to three once more. Gore is the lone setback. It's a pretty tight set there. Gore up the middle. Inside the ten. Bowls his way forward. Down to the six. It'll be third and one. Good hard running. Mike Quick and the Eagles offense on the sideline. Frustrated at this point that they haven't been able to accomplish more. Brody throws over the middle. Caught. He fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Eric Johnson. Johnson is the third tight end on the roster between Jones and Vernon Davis. But Johnson finds his way into the end zone here. Brody spreading the wealth. Johnson. Hammered by Seth Joyner, but Johnson is able to flip him a bit and get across the goal line. Oh, and Seth Joyner is going to be livid over that. Niners will go for the two-point conversion here. Quick out route, caught by Rice, and it's good for the two-point conversion. 
Nicely grabbed by Jerry Rice, and the Niners have taken a commanding 24-3 lead. Terrific job by Brody on the drive. 74 yards. Look at the footwork there by Jerry Rice. So now this is a steep uphill climb for the Philadelphia Eagles. Who have just seemingly shot themselves in the foot. Anytime they've been on the verge of getting something going. Remember they were down at third and inches inside the Niners five. Back when this was a 6 nothing game. They took a false start penalty that pushed them back. They ended up having to settle for a field goal there. And they haven't gotten close since. Timmy Brown out across the 20 is brought down. Eagles will start off from the 23. And a huge drive coming up for Philadelphia. And 58 left in the third. There's plenty of time in this game, but the Eagles need to do something to seize a slice of momentum. They've been unable to do so to this point. Handoff. LaShawn McCoy out across the 25. Wrestled to the ground. That's only the fifth carry for McCoy. He's got a couple of receptions as well. But the Eagles have been unable to really establish their identity in this one. Four receivers wide. Hertz looks to the right side, complete to his tight end, Pete Retzloff. Retzloff is hammered. Double team there, undercut and hit high. Kind of schoolboy there. Retzloff goes down. Does get the first down, though, out to the 36, and the chains will move. Third reception. Or Pete Retzloff, old 60s, early 70s, if I remember right. Eagles tight end. In the shotgun, handoff, McCoy. Not too much there, only picks up a couple. Niners have all the bases covered. Second and eight from the 38. Safety blitz is picked up, but Hurts throws it wide and incomplete. It'll be third and eight. Hurts very accurate early on, other than the interception on his first pass. But he's now cooled off, passing the ball as well. The 49ers have everything clicking at the moment. Hurts pass there, complete! Retzloff gets down a seam, and that may be the break the Eagles needed. Down to the San Francisco 30. Fourth reception for Retzloff. Tim McDonald brings him down. And Retzloff just ran a straight streak right down the seam. And Hurts hits him for the big game. We'll see if the Eagles can turn it into something here. Down at the 30. Somebody moved. And that's going to be encroachment on the 49ers. Pierce Holt jumps. That'll get three five yards for the Eagles. Down to the 25. That might be the first penalty called on the Niners, actually. Hurts looking. Complete. Aguilar inside the five. Down at the one. Brought down by Hicks. Nelson Aguilar stopped just short of the pylon. And the Eagles have to come out of this with a touchdown. No doubt. I formation. Handoff. It's Wilbert Montgomery. Montgomery looks for a hole and he gets it. Touchdown Wilbert Montgomery. His first carry of the game is a one-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles aren't dead yet. 
Good hard work there by Montgomery. There was not much there. But Montgomery bowls his way in from a yard out. And pending the Sam Baker extra point, the Eagles will be back within two scores. Baker's kick is up and good. Seven plays, 72 yards in 317. And did the Eagles ever need that? 7.41 left on the clock here at Levi Stadium in San Francisco. And the winner advances to the NFC Championship game in this Franchise Stars Football League preseason tournament. And this tournament is really just for me to be able to test things out thoroughly. See if there's trends I notice in the games actually being able to watch every play instead of just... I've kind of let games run in the background while I'm working or doing other things and then seeing stats at the end. But now we're kind of doing the fine-tooth comb thing as we get near release of the project. Taken in the end zone by Kermit Alexander. Across the 20, out across the 25. Gets a good block out to the 28. And the Niners will take over. Frank Gore, six carries, 48 yards. He broke one big run. The Niners have been pass-heavy. Here, Kyle Shanahan has kept things in the air. We'll see if he changes that up. Does a little bit more to try to eat clock, or if he just figures San Francisco will keep doing what they've been doing with success to this point. They're passing on first down. Throw to the left-hand side. Complete Brent Jones. Six-yard pickup. Out to the 34. That's the sixth catch for Jones. Three wide here. And off, coming up the middle. First down yardage. Charlie Garner gets the carry, his fourth carry of the game. Boyd with the tackle, but the chains will move. Again, we talked in the opening about how the 49ers, more than most teams in the franchise stars football team, will rotate through their backs. The guys rated very similarly. So they're a little bit more likely to cycle through. There's Gore with his seventh carry. Picks up a yard. Bradley on the stop. Carson Wentz came into the game. Dalen Hurts again was hurt on the first play from scrimmage for the Eagles. Carson Wentz came in, threw one pass, and it was picked off. Then Hurts was back in the game when the Eagles got the ball a second time. Gore tries to get to the outside. He's popped. Quentin Michael steps up for the stop. That'll be third and 12 as he brings him down in the backfield. Brody in the shotgun. Backfield is empty here. Pressure coming up the middle. Brody has to get rid of it quick, and he does. And it's going to be a first down. He dumps it off to Jerry Rice, and Rice makes something out of nothing. His third catch of the game. Finally brought down by Herm Edwards, but Rice gets some blockers ahead of him and finds the marker. Asante Samuel has done a terrific job on Jerry Rice in this one. But despite that, the Niners still lead it 24 to 10 and are trying to drive again. They're down in the Eagles territory. And off. Up the middle. Frank Gore. Good solid run there. Pick up of seven down to the Eagles 42. Just keeping the wheels turning. Brody looks into the flat to Gore. Good open field tackle, Seth Joyner. Not having any of it. Third and two from the 41. Inside four minutes left in quarter number three. The tight set. There are three receivers on the field. Looks like two tight ends, two wideouts. Handoff up the middle. Charlie Garner, and Garner is stuffed. 
brought down can't, uh, by Graham for the tackle. No gain. It'll be fourth and two from the 41. Interesting position here. You could go for it in this spot. Obviously, too far for a field goal. But they're going to play it safe and punt. Try to pin the Eagles deep. Angle inside the five, not to the sideline enough. It goes into the end zone for the touchback. And the Eagles will start from their 20. So now, after a touchdown and a stop, the Eagles have to feel like maybe they can climb themselves back into this game. Even if they could get a field goal on this drive, it would help that. Hand off. McCoy. Not too much there. Pick up of three. Be second and seven from the 23. Vanderbunt with the tackle, his second of the game. Hurts in the shotgun. Spins, throws to the left, incomplete, and a big hit. Nunnally lays a shot on. But that pass was... Well out of the reach. Looks like they tried to hit McCoy out of the backfield. It'll be third and seven. Shotgun. Hurts. Hurts steps up. Throws, though. Good job by Hurts. Finds him. I'm trying to see if that's, that's Aguilar again. So Hurts finds Nelson Aguilar over the middle. Hurts again. Looked like he was going to run, but saw the open man and decided to throw it instead. Good decision making there that time by Hertz. Out to the 44. Hertz has actually not run much in this game. Let's we'll see if that starts to change at all. Pass there complete. Down in the San Francisco territory. Brett Selick with the reception. That's his first time we've called his number in this one. Right with the tackle, but it's a 10-yard pickup and another first down for Philadelphia. We got a tight set going here. And off. McCoy tries to get to the outside, and he can't. White Hicks steps up for the stop. It's a loss of a yard. And it'll be second and 11 for the Eagles. Coming up, 10 seconds left here in the third. Hertz swings it. Backfield. McCoy jukes a man, but doesn't have much after that. Driven out of bounds by Hicks and McDonald after getting around Eric Wright. That'll get us to the end of the quarter. 24 to 10. Niners lead, but the Eagles are driving as they try to get back into this game. Third and six. Pass there complete to Retzlock. First down, down to the 32. Tim McDonald on the stop. Very, very nice drive by the Eagles. Going on here. They've got to see. They've got to come out of here with points, it kind of feels like. Again, even if it's a field goal, they obviously want the seven. And off. Wilbert Montgomery gets the carry. First down and more. Down to the 18. So Wilbert Montgomery, who only had one carry prior to that, the one-yard touchdown run. Gets a little bit more open field to work with and makes something of it. First and ten for the Eagles. Oh, 
Hertz over the middle incomplete. Hertz seemed a little indecisive on that one. Where he wanted to go with it and ended up going nowhere. 13-37 left in the game. Hertz rolls right, and this time Hertz is going to keep it. And he's got room inside the 10 for the touchdown. Jalen Hertz, we just spoke that he hasn't run the ball much, but he does here, and he finds his way to the end zone, and the Eagles are going to make this a one-score game. No hesitation that time by Hertz. He calls out the block. He gets it from Wilbert Montgomery down the field. And Hertz finds his way in, and the Eagles are feeling the momentum now. Extra point attempt coming from Sam Baker to make this a seven-point game. And he duffs it. Oh, my goodness. Sam Baker shanks it. Misses the extra point. And, oh, my goodness, does that one hurt. Sam Baker just botches the extra point. 24-16. Still a one-score game, but now you need the two-point conversion. After an extra point attempt like that, Sirianni may be happy to go for the two-point conversion. So the Eagles still have to feel, though, that they're, they've got the momentum here. The Niners and John Brody will try to take it back. Twenty-four, sixteen, thirteen, twenty-five left in the game. Brody ready to get back to work. In the pocket. Over the middle. Complete. Gene Washington. There's a flag on the play. The first down if it stands. We'll see what the call is. And it's a roughing the passer call. Dave Lloyd gets whistled for roughing John Brody. And the Niners will get extra yardage. And that is the last thing that the Eagles can afford. You've taken the momentum back in this game. You miss an extra point, and then you give up 15 free yards on a dumb penalty. Brody, pass, complete. White Clark inside the 35. And Clark looking for something there. Quentin Michael with a bit of a some extracurriculars after that play was done. Fifth reception for Dwight Clark. Michael wasn't even in on the tackle. Not sure what Quinton Michael was doing there. Brody to Wrights. First down complete. Fourth catch of the game for Rice, who didn't even have a catch until late in the first half. Rice becoming a factor. He also had the two-point conversion reception. First and 10 from the 22. There's movement. We'll see who it's called on. And that's a false start on the Niners. So that'll back them up five. Looks like Wallace got called for it. First and 15 from the 27. Go to the right. Complete. Clark at the 20. Brought down. Spotted at the 19. Eight-yard pickup, second and seven. Eagles defense has to come through here. Brody over the middle, end zone, incomplete. Had a man there, but threw it a little bit out of his reach. It'll be third and seven. Hey, 
Brody again in the shotgun. Looking out of the back of the end zone again. Brody throws that one away. Great coverage by the Eagles when they need it. So that'll set up a big field goal attempt for Bruce Gossett. This will be 36 yards. To try to make it a two-score game again. Here's the kick. It's up. And good. So Gossett puts it through. The roughing the passer call proves huge. And the Niners are back up by 11 with 11-11 left in the game. So the Eagles certainly can feel good that they kept that from getting to be seven, but even so, they have to be frustrated. Again, the Eagles have shot themselves in the foot a few different times in this game. Obviously, the two first quarter interceptions. The bad penalty deep in Niners territory early that made them settle for the field goal. And then they're roughing the passer call there. Help San Francisco get down the field for a field goal to bring it back to 11 points. But the Eagles have been getting points on their past couple of drives, and they're going to look to continue that momentum here as Jalen Hurts gets to work again. Play action. Pass. Kretzloff out across the 40. Out to the 43. Hurts 20 of 33 in this one. First down for Philadelphia. White Hicks with the tackle on that last play. Hurts changing things up. Trips up top now. Rolls left. Complete. Out to the 43. Hey, he's got a nice little connection building with Aguilar. Aguilar really considered the third receiver behind Mike Quick and Jeremy Macklin, but Aguilar building a relationship with his QB. Here's the snap. Hurts over the middle. Complete. That's Jeremy Macklin. Pickup of nine. Second and inches from the 33. Down inside, 10 minutes left. Fourth reception for Macklin. Patrick Willis with the tackle. Hurts throwing again. Oh, just out of the reach. He had a man. Hurts hits the deck. Hit after he throws. Third and inches from the 33. Let's see where the Eagles go here on the third and short. And off. No, play action, and they didn't fall for it. Hertz kept it, and the Niners read it. Carlton Williamson comes up for the stop. Hertz can't escape him. And now it'll be fourth and one. Not sure you have enough confidence. Sam Baker from 52 is not a good call. And they're going to go for it. Baker doesn't really have the leg from here. Fourth and one. Hurts. Handoff. McCoy. Gobbled up. He's not going to get there. Big tackle. Big stop. By the 49ers. Vanderbilt with the tackle. McCoy can't get there. And the Eagles turn it over on downs. You don't realize the value of a top kicker until you don't have one. Even with a good kicker, you might go for it there anyway. It is a 52-yard kick. But the Eagles, three chances at getting a yard, can't do it. And now the Niners take over. 8.38 left in the game, up by 11. 
And now the Niners, we'll see if they just decide to chew clock or if they just continue to run their offense. And off, up the middle, breaks it, Gore, down in the Eagles territory, down inside the 45. Good, strong run there from Frank Gore, brought down by Lloyd. Lloyd, of course, who took that terrible roughing the passer call on the Niners' last drive. And off, here's Charlie Garner. Garner starts outside, cuts it back, brought down by Byron Evans, but picks up three down to the 42. Continuing to just let the clock run. Time is not a friend of the Eagles at this moment. Second and seven from the 42. Here's Garner again. Has a blocker ahead of him. Good job, though, by the Eagles for the stop. It's third and four. Evans picks up another tackle. They'll bring us down inside the seven-minute mark. Shotgun. Brody. Looks. To the right side. Complete. They convert on the third and four. It's Garner out of the backfield. The chains will move. The Niners will keep possession. And the clock will continue to roll away on the Eagles. Big third down there. Bringing us down to the six-minute mark. Tight set here. Hand off. No play action. Brody rolls right. Throws. Complete. To Jerry Rice along the sideline. He's brought down. At the 13. I believe that is the fifth reception. Yep. Five catches. 50 yards for Rice. It's been an economical performance for Rice. But even in a game where Jerry Rice is neutralized, he's still got five catches. Hand off. Cut back up the middle by Gore. Nothing doing there. Seth Joyner steps up for the tackle. It'll be second and nine. You're the Eagles right now. All you can do is watch the clock. Try to hold the Niners to a field goal here. And go from there. Brody, back of the end zone, incomplete. Had Rice in that back corner, but he was well covered. And Brody just decides to throw it out of the back of the end zone, not try to force a pass. Don't look for a turnover here. Third and nine. Brody looks. Back of the end zone again. There's a flag down again. Let's see the call. Oh, and it's a holding call. Steve Wallace, that's the second call against Wallace in this one. He had a false start call early. So offensive holding the call. It's declined, though. They'll take the fourth down. Largely because they're going to want to try to get the ball back. So Gossett from 28 to push the lead back up to 14 and he nails it 30 to 16 San Francisco the Eagles had taken momentum back in this game a missed extra point a horrible roughing the passer call on Dave Lloyd that pushed the 49ers down the field where they could get a field goal to make it a two-score game again. And now, another Niners field goal has opened it back up to 14. 4.35 on the clock. Timmy Brown looking for an opening for a big return. The Niners won't give him one. So Hurts has to not just work, but work quickly here.
Did they have all three of their timeouts? Changing it up. Hurts. Deep down the right-hand side. Complete. Oh, what a grab. Aguilar pulls it in along the sideline. Beautiful throw from Hertz. Aguilar with the long reception and gets out of bounds. There's a blown coverage there, but that's a beautiful grab by Nelson Aguilar. And Kyle Shanahan not happy. You can't be giving up that play in this spot. Niners defense has been terrific. Shotgun. Hurts. Looks complete. Retzloff down inside the 20. Brought down by Kermit Alexander. But the Eagles with two big passes have gotten right down the field here. Credit to Jalen Hurts. He has not let this team quit. At the big touchdown run on the last drive, he's now got Retzloff and Aguilar up over 100 yards. Handoff. McCoy. McCoy finds a hole down inside the five. Brought down at the four. It'll be second and three. Brought down by Merton Hanks. Eagles do have the ability to get a first down. Hurts hurrying things up here. Trying to get everybody moving. Here's the snap. Hurts rolls right. Tries to get to the outside. Hurts takes it himself. It's his second touchdown of the game. Jalen Hurts runs another one in. And the Eagles get exactly what they needed. A quick touchdown strike to get back within a score. Great job there by Hertz. Pursuit by Pierce Holt, but he high steps his way through the tackle. And now here's Sam Baker. Missed the extra point before. He puts this one through. Four plays, 76 yards for the Eagles. They're back within seven. So now do they go for the onside's kick? One thing I got to check, I got to check Sam Baker's power. He shouldn't have high power. He didn't have, you know, a great leg. Of course, he's an all-time kicker, too. But I think his power might be a little bit shorted because even the extra points that have gone through haven't gone through by a lot. So we may have to give that, give that a little bit of a tweak. Going forward, again, one of the reasons why we're playing these games out like this. So the Eagles opt for the deep kickoff here. They're going to call on their defense to try to stop the Niners. Alexander out across the 25. It's a fumble. It's a fumble. Alexander loses it. EA in horrible fashion. The Eagles recover. Oh, my goodness. Alexander fumbles the kickoff. And the Eagles look like they're going to take it over at the San Francisco 28. We'll see if there's a review of the fumble. There is not. It's Eagles ball. Jalen Hurts looks. End zone. Touchdown. Aguilar with the reception. Hurts finds him and the Philadelphia Eagles despite as I've said previously, shooting themselves in the foot at multiple points in this game have rallied to come back against the Niners in San Francisco and pending the extra point unless they decide to be really brave and go for two and go for the win here. Nope, they're going to go for the extra point. Baker's kick is up. And good, and we are tied. 30 to 30, 309 left in the game. An unbelievable response by the Eagles. And the 49ers defense 
that has been so good for so much of this game. Gives up the big drive before this, a couple of big pass plays, and then Kermit Alexander fumbles the kickoff. One play, the Eagles strike. 30 to 30 here in San Francisco. Alexander out across the 20. Wrestle down at the 25, and that's where the Niners will take over. Well, we have got a dandy here. After the unexpected blowout in the first AFC semifinal game between the Chiefs and Raiders, we have got a war here in San Francisco. Thirty to thirty. Brody, play action. Looks short throw to the left. Four out of the backfield across the thirty. Nice open field tackle by Herm Edwards. It'll be second and four. Fourth reception for Gore. Locked down to two and a half minutes. Both teams have all three timeouts. Brody in the flat. Four. First down. Out to about the 37. Chains will move. Tackle there by Asante Samuel. That should bring us down to the two minute warning. San Francisco will conserve the timeouts. They'll discuss things here. Levi Stadium in San Francisco. 30 to 30 in this NFC semifinal of the preseason tournament for the upcoming Franchise Stars Football League. John Brody, throw incomplete. Both teams have protected their quarterbacks well. As mentioned in previous broadcasts, one of the big struggles has been getting Sacks, you know, sacks CPU for CPU in Madden games are notoriously high. It's been a fight with ratings and sliders and whatever to try to get that to a manageable point. Both teams have protected the QB as well today. Completion there. Once again, it's Gore out of the backfield. Brought down just shy of the marker and a huge third and one coming up. Neither team opting to stop the clock at the moment. Shotgun, short pass. There's Jerry Rice, first down out to midfield. Well, if you're going to throw there, there's the man you're going to call. Sixth reception for Rice. Chains move. That's going to let San Francisco largely control how this goes. This game probably ends with a 49ers field goal attempt, the way it looks like they're playing it at the moment. Brody looks to the left-hand side along the sideline. Complete to Rice. Pickup of nine and out of bounds. Remember back when we were saying that Jerry Rice hadn't been looked to. Didn't have a reception. He's now got seven. The great ones just find a way. Handoff. Up the middle. Gore inside the 40, gets the first down. Joiner with the tackle. Down in the 37, the Niners will take a timeout to discuss. 30 to 30. A dandy of a ball game. Bruce Gossett, a decent leg, not a great leg. You're not going to want him kicking from 54. If you can get him inside about 45 yards or so, that's probably where the Niners are angling this. Handle. Gore tries to spin out of a tackle. He loses it. He loses it, but Brody falls on it. Oh, the Eagles force another fumble. Frank Gore coughs it up. Brody falls on it, so it'll be Niners' ball anyway. 
But Gore was down before he lost the ball, so they'll get a couple of yards that Gore got before the hit from Seth Joyner. So Gore was down, 41 seconds left, second and eight from the 35. The Niners need one more chunk of yards, I think, here for Bruce Gossett, kicking into a net on the Niners' sideline. They try to run Gore to the outside. There's not much doing there. Now the Eagles are going to take a timeout. Both sides trying to discuss how they'll handle things. 38 seconds left. High game from here it would be a 52 yard attempt for Bruce Gossett. You're pushing the limits of his range there. They opt for the handoff anyway. Try to get Gore a few more yards. So the Niners play that a bit ultra conservatively, I feel like. Again, given Gossett's leg, this is going to be a 51 yard attempt. By no means a chip shot for Bruce Gossett. Here's the kick. It's up. And it is no good. It had the distance, but Gossett hooks it wide. Wide left. And the Eagles are going to take over with good field position. Now, again, the Eagles have a problem because Sam Baker's leg is, frankly, weak. So you've got to get close for Sam Baker to have a shot here. Thirty-one seconds left. The Eagles have one timeout. Hurts. Swings it wide. LaShawn McCoy. Brought down. Inbounds. Not really sure that's the play call that's needed there. They're saying to get Baker to the 32. For a 49-yard kick. A little bit surprised. The Eagles might just play for... I don't, oh, I don't think you can play for overtime here. You had such good field position. But they've let the clock run. That is questionable clock management, to say the least. Although Baker missing the extra point certainly impacted things. Pass there incomplete. And we're going to head to overtime. Tied at 30. Here in San Francisco. Sides will come out for the coin toss to see who gets the ball. So the Eagles will defend. It's funny that it tells you what happened before they show the coin flip animation. Modern overtime rules are in effect for now. If I can change that in franchise mode, I'll probably change it to, old, to the old school rules. I'll have to check that out. Tommy Hutton with the kickoff. Brought out by Alexander across the 20. Remember, Alexander had that very costly fumble that allowed the Eagles to tie the game. The Niners were in control of this game for most of it. They certainly did not see being in a 30-30 situation here. Sun going down here in San Francisco. Love that. Love how the, the daylight and the shadows and everything like that change. That's very, very cool. There's a handoff. Frank Gore gobbled up. Reggie White with the stop. He only picks up a yard. I'm not sure why the game... Now this EA glitch overtime starts with 15-15 on the clock rather than a straight 15 minutes. Another one of those things like how did nobody catch that? 
Another handoff. Four. So the, the Niners, who have thrown the ball so much this game, have gone ultra conservative since the Eagles tied it. Third and six from the 26. Brody in the shotgun. Back to pass. Great coverage by the Eagles. Brody has to throw it away. Pressure breaks down. The Eagles force the Niners into a three and out. And you're going to have to question Kyle Shanahan's coaching on that drive. You've been so pass heavy all game. With a good degree of success. That seems like a very odd time to go conservatively. Hunt inside the 35. Jimmy Brown can't break it, and Jalen Hurts and the Eagles will take over from their 39 with a chance to win the game. The Niners led this game 30 to 16 with four and a half minutes left in regulation. The Eagles scored. Herman Alexander fumbled the ensuing kickoff. The Eagles scored again. Hurts, short pass, complete to Aguilar. Again, he and Aguilar have been able to build a little bit of a connection here. Eric Wright has done a fine job on the primary receiver, Mike Quick. Jeremy Macklin has been well covered on the other corner by Dwight Hicks. And off LaShawn McCoy. McCoy breaks it down inside the 45, inside the 40. LaShawn McCoy carries it down to the Niners' 36-yard line. And they're getting close to field goal range for Baker. Again, Baker's lack of a powerful leg playing very key in this game. Of course, the, the missed extra point isn't a lack of power. It was just that he shanked the heck out of the kick. But it does affect your game management. Pressure, looking end zone, incomplete. They ran the tight end corner route trying to find Pete Retzloff, but he was overthrown. It'll be second and ten. Hurts in the shotgun. Pass over the middle, complete down inside the 25. There's Mike Quick. So we just talked about them doing a good job on Quick. He had a couple of big receptions early. We haven't heard from him in a while, but there's his fifth grab of the game. Down to the Niners 24 as Baker kicks into a net on the Eagles sideline. Very quietly, the Eagles are going to try to focus on getting this to the end zone. Deep ball for the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. The Eagles win it. A wheel route. LaShawn McCoy out of the backfield. This one might get reviewed. But if it stands, the Eagles have pulled off an incredible fourth quarter comeback on the Niners, who are their favorites in the NFC. McCoy thinks it's going to stand. And it does. No review. They say, or they reviewed it and said it's good. But the Eagles pull off the dramatic upset, 36-30 in overtime, to advance to the NFC Championship game. Unbelievable battle here in San Francisco. And what a job by Jalen Hurts. Who struggled in the middle of this game but pulled things together. He hadn't been running the ball much. He ended up running for two touchdowns in the second half. Led touchdown drives to get the Eagles the upset win. 29 of 45. They got some big plays when they needed them. 467. You're not going to see that. We haven't seen a passing yards number like that at all in this tournament. And they certainly weren't expecting it against the Niners. And again, the Niners' secondary had held the Eagles at bay for much of this game, and then things just kind of went sideways on them. 
in the second half. John Brody, 35 of 51. Both teams, again, using current playbooks from current coaches. The game is very, very pass-heavy. You know, Madden by default. I've created the custom playbooks. I mean, you've been seeing that the old-time coaches coaching the teams and teams being very run-heavy. That's because I've done the custom playbooks for them. But with the draw leading to the Eagles having Sirianni and the Niners having Kyle Shanahan drawn as their coach for, for year one, um, I'm just using the default playbooks with both of those teams in these games. So Hurts, two TDs and a pick. Brody, one touchdown, no picks. And again, questionable when the Niners, who were so pass-heavy in this game, got the ball in overtime. They elected to run the ball rather than throw it. Frank Gore, 17 carries for 84 yards, and Gore was fine. That's not a, a certainly not a criticism of Gore or Charlie Garner or Ricky Waters or anything like that. It just seemed like an ultra-conservative approach because it felt like when they had the ball at the end of the half, they went ultra-conservative as well and played for the field goal attempt there. Rather than trying to advance the ball deeper down the field, you ended up settling for a 51-yard field goal attempt from Bruce Gossett which is kind of the end of Gossett's range, and he ended up hooking it left. So some questions that I'm sure that Kyle Shanahan would have to answer in the postgame. But the Eagles do it again. They upset the Cowboys. They upset the Niners. Both games in dramatic fashion. And Aguilar and Retzloff both opened some things up couple of big receptions down the field. You know, when they were trying to go short, the Niners weren't giving up anything, but they were able to find some seams in that second half. I think Mike Quick, I mean, five, I, Quick had five receptions. But mo he had a couple of big receptions early, and then he was quiet for a while. Oh, really nicely done. There were a few sacks early. I don't think there was a sack in the second half. Only four sacks total in the game. Each side had two. Like seeing that. And I've been thrilled with everything about this project other than the sack totals were a bit high. And penalty totals are a little bit low, but I'm not really sure I can fix that. Eagles got called for five in this game. I'll take that. Niners only called for two. Niners dominated possession. But in the end, a 20-point fourth quarter... And the overtime score bring the Eagles back to victory here in San Francisco. I greatly appreciate you guys all tuning in for this one. That was an absolute thriller. Eagles have had a pair of thrillers in this one. I want to see if we can... I want to check out the highlight because they didn't do a review. On that touchdown to McCoy. I just want to see. I felt like it was close. I want to see if that's a deal where if they had actually gone through the review. Let's see. Oh, he's got it there. Right foot is down. Oh, what? Oh, the camera's such a pain there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, oh my goodness. Under review. Under review, the 49ers are going to have a gripe here. Check this. Oh my goodness. Oh, where's that menu? You say he's got it there. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, the 49ers just got robbed. Oh, horrible. Horrible officiating. Any of the toe touches the white line. There he's got it. Right foot. That foot is not on the ground. Man, the camera is so unintuitive in this game. Yeah, that shouldn't have counted. That shouldn't have counted. Somebody's going to make the comment blaming the female judge. That... <laughs> Oh, my God. That's actually a little bit frustrating. 
Less so because it's just the preseason tournament. It really doesn't count for anything. But even so. Well, still a great game. <laughs> Imagine the press the next day. Holy cow. I wonder if that's just a glitch where it doesn't do a review on like the last play like that. Like it triggers that it's a touchdown and it goes to the end. Uh, you know, to the end of game graphic without reviewing it. Because if it is, that's a terrible that's a, just a, that's a terrible job by EA. You do the booth review thing all throughout the game on close plays, and you do it well, and it doesn't trigger it there on a winning play. Oh my goodness, that's brutal. That is brutal. If that happens in the regular season, like when this really gets started. And happens in a playoff game, I would I'd probably be losing my mind a little bit. I'd feel I'd feel terrible about that. I mean bad listen, bad calls happen in, in football, Lord knows that. And they even get reviews seemingly wrong sometimes. But that's a oh my god, that's a tough spot. San Francisco would be melting down at this point. But regardless, a terrific game here in San Francisco. I thank you guys all for tuning in. Next game on the channel, I'm not sure if it'll be tomorrow or Friday, we'll do the uh, Chargers and Patriots game to set up the end of the AFC side of the tournament and the AFC championship game. Winner of that will face the Chiefs. And then after that, we'll do Lions and Packers. As this tournament comes to a close again, I have nine teams left to do. No, I shouldn't say nine teams. I have nine defenses left to enter um, into the rosters, and then the project will be up and running. So hopefully, we will uh, we will see. The goal is to get this game running probably in the days leading up to the Super Bowl. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Like and subscribe if you have not. Stay up to date. Also, click in the profile link to the Discord, and you can stay up to date with the project there as well. I thank you guys as always for tuning in. Be good to each other, and we'll talk soon. The Eagles advance to the championship game of the NFC side of the FSFL preseason tournament.